Hey gurus, this is Miss Newshark coming at you with your last code.org lesson of the school year. So this week we are going to be working on lesson 11, drawing gardens with loops. So remember that loops we've been working with for the last two weeks and loops help us repeat our code without making our code really long. So that it's repeat something as many times as we need to. And remember, sometimes I call them loops, sometimes I call them repeats kind of depend it just they both mean the same thing so just like normal at the beginning of our lesson we have an artist intro so this is a new activity that we're going to be working with so this, we're working with our artist this week so I do want you to watch that video because there's a lot of intro information you need so this is so it says this is a new type of puzzle called artist play with the level and draw something fun so this is where you get to let your artistic side come out and really have fun. So there are two different types of blocks I want you to know. So the first block is our normal um, north, south, east, and west block. And you'll notice that they have this solid line on them. That means that when you put them down or when you put them in your code, they will actually draw a line. But... If you were so if you go down you have these lines or these blocks excuse me that have dotted lines on them that means you're going to jump a space and then draw and then you'll jump just jump instead of drawing so watch so see how there's no line from where you are but you are farther up so if you wanted to draw jump somewhere and then draw a line that's how you would do it okay so just know that those two different things are there for you. So I'm going to, I'll let you guys play with it. You guys can use your loops as much as you'd like. I'm going to finish it. So now there is a video on how to use loops when you're working with your artists. Okay. So I do want you to watch that too. It will give you a lot of important info, but we'll talk a little bit about it as we go through. So it says, this artist is trying to draw a line six times, but can't get it right. Can you help? So the in instructions are going to be really important this time around, because if you notice, it says six times. So that's what they're trying to do. So let's run the code and see what's wrong. So right away, I see that it's only drawing one line, two, three, four. Hmm, that makes me think there's something wrong with the loop. If you go look at the loop, it says only four. Let's change it to six. Hit reset. And you can also change how fast they cut they draw. So I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Perfect. Alright. So now it says help draw help the artist draw a line seven times to make a garden wall. So remember, if you have trouble with this, you can always go down to the bottom and change your language to Spanish. It's right below English, which is checked right now. So it's right below. So we know that we need to repeat this seven times. But if you look, there's only one move south block. So that means we need to use our repeat or our loop. So it says that we need to draw it seven times. So we need to change our number and our repeat to seven. Then to draw our line, remember we want to use the lines that have these solid lines or the solid arrows. So otherwise you're just jumping. So let's hit run. Awesome, fantastic you guys. All right, so it says now we need to get the soil ready to plant. Find the bugs in the code and help the artist prepare the ground. So remember the first step when you debug is to run the code to see what the problem is, right? So let's run the code first. Hmm. Interesting. So first things first, I see that we need to move one, two, three, four times. So we need to change this loop to four. And then second, I noticed that we need to draw a line before we jump. So which way do we need to draw a line? Do we need to go east or west? Good, we need to be going east because, and we can tell that because it says jump east. 
So I think we're going to put that in above our jump because if you notice, you have to draw the line, then jump. Draw the line, then jump. So remember, order does matter in your loops. You want to make sure that they're in the correct order. So now that we've fixed how many times we need to do our loop and what's in our loop, let's hit run one more time. Wonderful. So remember, when you, when you debug, you need to start with running the code to see what the problem is. Time to fix the stairs. Repeat this pattern five times so that the artist can reach the top of the bushes. All right, so they gave us the code already. So we're going to use our repeat block. And then remember, all of the code we want to repeat needs to go inside. So they want us to repeat this how many times? Five. Very, very, very good. So we'll hit five, and we'll hit run. Very good, guys. Very, very good. All right, so now you're going to do the same thing on your own. Okay, so I want you to use a repeat block. But remember, each stair goes over and down, over and down over and down. So if you look at the stair, you can do it one at a time. Oh, except you know what? I take this back. We start at the bottom. So we need to go up and over, up and over. I apologize. So your step should look like this, up and over. So then you need to add the loop and decide how many times it happens. So you might want to try counting by the flat part and count one, two, three, and I'll let you do the counting but it will help you if you just count the one part of the step, okay? So you're going to work on number eight on your own. Number nine, if you want to try, fantastic, go for it. If not, that's okay to skip it. Number 10, you need to debug. So remember, you need to run your code first and then decide what to add to it or what to take away. So this is just like, I think, I want to say number three or number four, where you need to draw a line, then skip, draw a line, then jump, draw a line, then jump, um, four times, okay? So remember, you're, you have your jump blocks down here, so you might draw a line, then jump, let's see, okay? So remember, that's going to be the start of that puzzle. And number 12 you get to be artistic and as or artistic as you like and you get to draw your own picture using any of the blocks you see here you can even go sideways or diagonal you can also set a pattern for your lines or set a color so when you finish this lesson send me a message on class dojo so i can go check out your artists and see your drawings at the very end all right you guys so take your time, message me if you have any questions, or watch this video again, see if that answers your questions, And but still feel free to message me. I'm happy to help. Um, have fun, do your best, and happy coding!